Hey YouTube, Lightning2288 here with another uh, video comic book haul. I would have made a video last week because I actually, this all these books except for maybe four or five of them came from eBay. The rest were from Frank and Sons. But I got back so late Saturday and Sunday being the Super Bowl, I just didn't have time. So this is actually everything I got last weekend. Uh, let's get it started. Uh, the first, the first uh, issue is a... Uh, Alpha Flight 33, a first appearance of Lady Deathstrike, and I uh, actually want to give a shout out to District 12 Comics. She uh, actually showed this maybe, I don't know, two, three videos back, and I didn't know it was her first appearance, so as soon as I seen her video, I was out uh, out on the hunt for it. And my local shop actually wanted uh, 30 bucks for this issue, so I actually went to Frankenstein's and found this in the dollar bin and picked up for a buck. And you know, I mean, still, it's actually one of my favorite villains, you know, so... I can't go wrong with that, and you know the condition is probably it's probably very fine actually too. So you know, real happy to pick that up. And these next two books I actually picked up as well, and these were actually a dollar each. Amazing Spider-Man 431, and I know Mercenot showed this in his last video, and that's what got me to look out for it. And I know what he's saying. I mean, I've seen the eBay prices. Well, the asking price, I mean, I've seen it anywhere between 30 to 60 bucks. So, I mean, I guess it's a low print run, but all of a sudden, I mean, this book ain't, it ain't that new. So I just don't understand, like, all of a sudden now it's, you know, a $50, $60 book. But hell, found it for a dollar, can't complain. And I mean, it's a, it's a very, it's a very fine. I mean, it's, it's damn near perfect. So I'm, I'm real happy with it. You know, for a buck, and I'm glad I, I, I watched Mercenize video when he showed this, and it was actually that day I think I went and found it. And this next book I actually found in the same box with this Amazing Spider-Man, and Mercenize actually showed this in his last video. This is uh, X-Factor number 17, uh, first appearance of Richter, and uh, I got it for a dollar as well. And, uh, I mean, it's not as good as the Amazing Spider-Man book condition-wise. I mean, it was kind of jammed in there. As you can see, I mean, it's it's probably a fine plus. Maybe a, I would just give it a fine plus. I mean, you can see a little nick right here. You know, it looks like actually the staples like kind of kind of loose right there. So, but still for a dollar, hell, I picked it up anyways. And in the same dollar box, I mean, just for shits and giggles, I guess I just I picked up another copy of this X Force number two, second appearance of Deadpool. Which, you know, you could get it anywhere relatively cheap. I mean, <clears throat> don't know why. I mean, Deadpool's an awesome character, but they must have really mass-produced this book because this book really is not worth anything. I mean, you could still pick them up for a buck, two bucks at the most. So, And, you know, it's in fairly high grade, so I can't complain about that. And the next next books are the... I mean, I didn't get... I mean, I got a lot of keys, but... I'm trying to save up for a major one, but it's just hard. It seems like every time I'm trying to save up for something, I end up at a comic shop, I end up at Frank and Sons, and I end up spending my wad. So here's what I end up spending money on. This first book is uh Oh, and by the way, these next few books are finally finally I uh I started putting my books in Mylar and I want to thank Hero Hunter for making his video about how he protects his books, because I never was really familiar with Mylar how to go about it and stuff and just to let you know it's kind of embarrassing I guess as much as I'm into comics but you know watching his video really helped me out and I kind of listened to what he said you know I bought Silver Age Mylars and Silver Age board and I just double boarded it and he's totally right I mean these Mylars make your books look like they're all in high grade and uh, it's like high definition for your for your comics I'm really pleased and the good thing is that Frankenstein's a pack of 50 cost 15 bucks so it's relatively cheap because i've actually seen the same stuff selling on uh, ebay or certain sites uh for 30 dollars so definitely uh, happy about that i'm just start eventually start turning all my books or starting to put all my books in the mylar but anyways getting back to the book this is incredible hulk 142 this is the first appearance of samantha parrington as valkyrie and I guess the key to, you know, I mean, it's still a first appearance, but, you know, as we know, she, she eventually joins the Defenders in issue number four. So, I mean, a minor key, but, you know, a key nonetheless. And, you know, all of us are about the key issues. So, let me get these books out of here. This one. 
Submariner number seven. And this is just, I mean, I just solely got it for the cover. It's one of my uh, favorite cl classic cover by John Bushima. Uh, forgive me if I didn't pronounce his name uh, right. But as you can see, it's, I would probably give it, a, you know, just because it's not white enough. I mean, it's browning pretty bad. But I only paid $4 for it. But other than that, like the corners are sharp. It's just the browning part of it that's kind of bugging me. So I'm eventually going to probably want to upgrade this one. But still, you know, I can't pass that for 4 bucks, And it is one of my favorite covers of all time. And the rest of my books are going to be predominantly DC. I mean, I got like maybe one or two more Marvel books I'm going to show. But these are like... I guess smaller keys that, uh, you know, eventually, I, I go on this site that talks about under the radar keys, and let me just get one out here. This one's uh, Lois Lane number 74, and this is the first appearance of Bizarro Flash, so yeah, I mean, it's not major, but still first appearance, and actually a lot of people do collect first appearance of Bizarro Lois, first appearance of Bizarro Batman. I just lost my uh, Superboy 68. I got beat by 50 cents at the last second. I'm pretty upset about that, but I think I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to go for all the Bizarro stuff, Bizarro World, and everything. So, yeah, Lois Lane 74, first appearance Bizarro Flash, and the condition is. I mean, it's a fine. You see that corner right there, a couple of nicks, but other than that. It's in relatively good shape. The colors are bright. It's glossy. And man, I just, these mylars are freaking awesome, man. <laughs> and the normal vendor I go hit up at Frank and Sons. And I know, guys, I've been pushing Wonder Woman a lot. I know all the, you guys are probably sick of the bondage. So, but as soon as I walked up to him, he's like, here, man, I got some books I was holding for you. And it's just some, you know, some trippy Wonder Woman books. Here, let me get them out here. Here's Wonder Woman 231. Nothing, spe <laughs> nothing special about the book, but just, you know, you, you can see what it is. You can see the cover. <laughs> you know, I guess. Um, I guess I am into it, so, yeah, I keep buying them. So, and I even got vendors holding them for me, so, yeah. And the next one is Wonder Woman 229. Another one, you know, her tied up and rocket shooting at her. No big deal. This next one is actually is a Wonder Woman key. It's a Wonder Woman 180. And as you can see, it's pretty beat up. And the only reason I picked it up because it was only a couple bucks. And I'm definitely, I'm watching one on eBay right now. It's a fine copy, or a little bit better. I'm probably going to go for. But the key to this is, this is... um. The Death of Steve Trevor, the love interest of Wonder Woman. This is who she gave up her powers for to be with. So definitely be on the lookout for this book, you know. I mean, on eBay, I mean, you could probably get it. It's not much. You could probably get it for, you know, a very nice copy for like 15 bucks. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. It's The Death of Steve Trevor. Now this next book I'm really excited and happy that I got. And this is a Wonder Woman... It's an early one, Wonder Woman 162. And the key to this is, this is uh, the origin of her secret identity. So definitely be on the lookout for this one. And it's not only that, I guess if anybody cares, it's the first Silver Age appearance of uh, Minister Blizzard. I don't know if he's ever made another appearance, so I, don't, I, don't, you know, I really don't care. But yeah, key, uh, the origin of her secret identity. And I think that's pretty, you know, significant for Wonder Woman. And overall grade on it, I would probably give it a 5.5, you know, somewhere around there. I mean, it's not bad. And, and right now, I'm going to tell you guys honestly, you can actually on eBay, I got this at Frank, so, but I, I, I spent 10 bucks on it. But, you know, I think that you could get one probably on eBay, 15 bucks. I mean, they're not that expensive yet. Just something to just, you know, keep an eye out for, especially if Wonder Woman eventually gets her movies. And, you know, all these damn first appearances and origin stories or whatever, man. Just any time a movie's announced or show is announced, you know. For example, Astonishing Tales 25, the first appearance of Deathlock. I don't know if you guys have noticed, look on eBay, that book's going 200 bucks now. So, you know, the minute a Wonder Woman movie comes out, God knows what some of her Silver Age stuff's going to go to. And up next is World's Finest, number 173. And this is the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. 
I think it's the first. I'm not for sure because I've read CGC copies. It says it's Batman dresses two face. It doesn't say necessarily it's his first Silver Age appearance, but I think that's what people are identifying this book with. So I picked it up anyways. I'm not for sure. So if you guys can clarify that with me, I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'd probably give it a VG plus. The only real problem is, I mean, there's like a nick over here, and there's a little like piece kind of like edged off. But like I said, I paid six bucks for it, so you know I'm not passing up on stuff like that. You know, especially six bucks. Oh, excuse me, I'm dropping books. And now it's um predominantly gonna go to Batman right now. And this first one I picked up, and this is a near mint copy. I'm talking near mint. This is Batman 366. This is a uh, basically the first time Jason Todd was in his Robin costume, or Jason Todd is Robin. And I mean. This book's relatively uh, cheap right now. I mean, definitely, uh, you know, I'm definitely focusing on Batman lately, so I'm trying to get most of his keys because I just don't want to wait anymore because a lot of his stuff just like super expensive. And like I said in my last video, guys, I uh, definitely want to start focusing on some Neil Adams stuff. So I, I, I've definitely been picking up some Neil Adams Batmans. And this first one is, uh, I can't see the number, Batman. 240 and yeah just uh neil adams he's freaking awesome man and just i don't know why i wait so long to start collecting his stuff but man but yeah this is i mean it's probably a fine minus and you know but overall i mean i only paid like six bucks for it so uh, you know i really can't complain i just i just want every neil adams batman book now so definitely I'm, that's that's what i'm definitely gonna be starting to go after now and this next one, this is one I'm really, really pissed off about. This is a Batman 219. These are some of my eBay. I remember I told you at the beginning I bought a few books on eBay as well. This is a... Well, no Adam's name. He, he only wrote the book. So, but still, I just want anything he does. It's like anything he touches turns to gold. But according to the seller... This was a very fine copy, so I ended up spending, basically it's a filler book, and I spent 20 bucks for it just to get the higher grade. When it came in in the mail, it was in a manila folder without a plastic. It was a basically a the comic, oh, excuse me, let me get some of these books out of here. That didn't help. Okay, basically, this comic, no board, no plastic, was shoved into the manila folder. And that's how I got it. And when I got it, it was folded. You could see right here, if you could look at it. Look at it. He claimed this was a very fine. And I contacted the seller. He still hasn't gotten back to me. You know, I'm going to probably do a dispute or whatever. Because this is bull crap. I mean, I gave him a negative feedback, but he still hasn't responded to me. So, yeah, I'm pretty upset, and I've got, I got burned actually a couple of times this week on eBay, but I'll get to an, another book. I'm still kind of upset about it, but anyways, let me see, Detective Comics, the next one's Detective Comics 478, and I guess this is the freaking, oh, <coughs> excuse me, I think, I think I'm coming down with something, but this is a, the first appearance of the third Clayface, uh, Preston Payne. So, you know, I mean, not, not nothing major, I guess, but still a first appearance of a Batman villain. And, you know, this one is probably, a, I would say, a very fine minus. I think there's just some discoloring where the, you know, right here where the barcode is. But, but other than that, I mean, I only paid five bucks for it, so definitely ain't on complaint. And next is Detective Comics 421. Yeah, some some more uh, Neil Adams goodness. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think he only did the cover though. So, but still, anything Neil Adams does, I want now, and I'm definitely gonna focus on Neil Adams for the next couple of months. And Detective Four Twenty, another one, another uh, Neil Adams. But he actually did the cover and the whole the whole book. So I'm real excited. And I haven't read any of these yet. I definitely probably plan on reading them this weekend so yeah next one is detective comics 403 another one neil adams only did the cover so but still man he, his art's just freaking awesome but yeah 
Let me let me get these books out of the way. Detective Comics 401. That's another uh, Neil Adams cover, and plus, you know, a, a, a extra bonus, Gil Kane actually did the pencil on the inside. So another one of my favorite artists, so, you know, the twofer, so I'm real happy about that. And this is another book, I mean, it's probably a, it's probably a fine, but still, you know, a lot of these books I've only paid probably five, six bucks for. And anything Neil Adams, you guys know, is just it's starting to get up there, so... If I could get Neil Adams stuff cheap, you know, even a more of a bonus. Now this next one, here's another <sighs> Detective Comics 396, and this is another one that uh, Neil Adams did did the cover, and Gil Kane did the pencil on the inside. This was claimed to be a very fine. Same thing happened. It came to me in a, a Manila folder, no board, no plastic. The cool thing is, I actually got in contact with this seller. And he actually refunded my money. I mean, like I said, it was only like, shit, I paid like, well, I paid 20 bucks for it. But he refunded my money and he told me to go ahead and just keep the book as long as I don't give him a negative feedback or anything. But if you look, I mean, I don't know how these people are grading their books. I mean, you guys can see it. Look at it. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's a white book that's all brown. Still, be on the lookout. Definitely get a better grade than this. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm starting to get really frustrated with the eBay people. And I picked up this is another Frankenstein's book, Detective Comics 373. Definitely be on the lookout for this one, guys. Uh, Omega, I think, showed this in his newest video. He told me about it, and I actually saw it at Frankenstein, so I definitely jumped on it. It's, uh, the, you know, he explained it more in his video, so, yeah, but basically, Mr. Freeze's first appearance was in an early Batman book, and he was known as, a uh, uh, Mr. Zero or something like that, so, this is the first issue they actually called him Mr. Freeze, so, I mean, pretty significant, because that's what we know him as, so, yeah, I mean, definitely, if you see this in the wild, pick it up, because I actually got it, and it's relatively cheap, even on eBay, it's still relatively cheap. I picked this book up at Frankenstein's probably for 10 bucks, and I mean, it's a VG plus, fine minus, but still, I'm super happy with it. Showcase number 75, first appearance of Hawk and Dove. Um, another cool book, Steve Ditko cover. Um, it's another book I got a real good deal on. I only paid 10 bucks for it. I mean, other than, you know, I mean, there's a few, where is it? There's like a nick here, a little discoloring right here. But other than that, it's overall pretty great condition, except for this little writing right here. It's like a 10, like, a, I don't know what that is. Just a little, 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 like, price stamp or whatever it is. But other than that, I'm happy. I only paid 10 bucks for it. So, you know, first appearance, Silver Age first appearance. I'm real happy about it. Now, this book uh, up next, I'm real happy. It's my first of this character in my collection, or uh, first book I've had. This is Aquaman 29. This is the only Aquaman book I have. And this is the first appearance of Ocean Master. And I definitely want to start focusing on a lot of more DC villains. Because I don't think they get enough play, and, and you could get their stuff relatively cheap. Now, the only issue with this book, really, is there's a little, like, scuffing right here. But other than that, the overall condition, I'd probably be fine plus, very, very fine minus. And I only paid 15 bucks for it. And, you know, this is one of his major characters. Now, you know, we all speculate on movies and shows. I mean, eventually, eventually Aquaman's going to get something going. And he's going to be in one of the movies or a show, whatever it is. So if you guys see this book, definitely pick it up. Because, I mean, honestly, it's relatively cheap. And, you know, like I said, I got I got it good. I could go to, you know, my a lot of my local shops sell Silver Age. And then I got Frank and Sons I go to that sell Silver Age. And I know on eBay, this don't pop up that much. I mean, there's three, four maybe pop up, but... If you could get it cheap, and I think it's still a relatively decent price, definitely pick it up. It's still a Silver Age book, and it's a first appearance of a, you know, a main character's villain. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I think I think I am actually getting sick. The next one is Green Lantern 116. This is the first Guy Gardner as a Green Lantern. 
and I think this one's kind of under the radar. I don't know. I haven't really looked at what the prices are of these of this book, but I picked this one up, and this one's, I mean, I think it was off-cut right here for some, you know, like maybe a manufacturer defect, but other than that, man, it's overall in pretty good shape. I mean, really good shape. Actually, I would give it probably a very fine, except I don't know what they would do with that defect up there. You could kind of see it where the writing is, the date, and the, and the number is kind of cut off. So I don't know if it was even trimmed or not. I'm not for sure, but I think that might be a manufacturer defect. But anyways, first appearance of uh, Guy Gardner as a Green Lantern. Definitely be on the lookout for this. And this is another eBay purchase that came in this week. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked about I mean, I was happy to get it, but now when it came in, I was pretty pissed off. Green Lantern, number 86. The drug issue, or one of the drug issues. I mean, it probably looks good in Mylar, you know. I paid, actually, I paid 60 bucks for this. And it was a, supposedly a very fine. And I won it in auction. So, I mean, it came, he packaged it well. I ain't complaining about the packaging. But as you can see, if you can see the... The spine, there's a fold that goes all the way down. And there's no way this is a fine, a very, you know, a very fine copy is how he had it described. So, you know, I threw a little complaint out there and he actually was cool about it. And he refunded half my money and he told me to go ahead and keep the book. So, yeah, I got Green Lantern 86 for basically 30 bucks. But it's probably, to me, it's probably a VG copy. And I'm definitely, you know, since I'm on the Neil Adams son, I definitely want a higher grade of this book. But as of now, I mean, at least I have it. And I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for a higher grade. But Green Lantern 86, another real good book to get. And this other one, I got at Frankenstein's. Green Lantern number 29. Uh, awesome. Origin and first appearance of Black Hand. You know, one of uh, Green Lantern's, you know, Man, a major, not a major, but you know, one of his like predominant villains. So, you know, and this is another one where you know, just like Aquaman twenty nine first Ocean Master, this is another villain where it's a Silver Age first appearance, and it's relatively cheap. I mean, this is probably a fine plus. It's a, it's a pretty nice copy, and. You know, I only paid 10 bucks for it. So, you know, and I've seen them on eBay, even higher, I mean, just high grade ones. I mean, some were like 30, 40 bucks. Mid grade, you're talking $15. So, I mean, relatively cheap. And I think definitely, if you guys see this, start picking up these Silver Age first appearance of these DC villains. Cause I think they're actually underrated and people are overlooking them. I know a lot of people focus, and I've done it. We all fo I focus on Marvel a lot. And just Marvel stuff just going through the roof. So I have slowly start reverting all my attention to DC and try to pick up those keys. And I'm going to end the video, guys, with uh, I'm real happy to get. And I finally, you know, picked it up. My buddy Mike at Frankenstein's hooked me up. Marvel feature number one, first appearance of the Defenders. And uh, up, you know, just besides that little corner... I mean, a couple corn, but I mean, it's still probably like a 5.5, you know, maybe a 6. It's a, it's a nice book, and the cool thing is he actually held it for me. He could have sold He held it for me for like a week, and just hoping I would come to Frankenstein's, I guess. But, you know, once I got there, he pulled it out of his box. He said, here, dude, I know you've been looking for it, and he gave it to me for 20 bucks. So, you know, awesome guy. If you guys are ever in the Southern California area and hit up Frankenstein's, you know hit up mike man he's he's awesome he gives you deals he hooks it up he knows a lot and that's that'll do it for my video guys um i appreciate everybody watching all the subs you know all the comments all the love you guys have given me and i'm gonna start probably just doing videos maybe once every two weeks you know i try to get build a good enough haul to make a decent video for you guys and uh thanks again guys and i'll talk to you soon